So I'm really excited about today's video, and the reason why is because we're going to be talking about Webby Show 4, Mark Webb's fifth video of his Webby Show series. Now if you're not familiar with Mark Webb, he is one of, if not the best tech rider in the world. I feel like Mark Webb has pushed tech riding further than any other rider in BMX history. And the reason why I say that is because Mark Webb has continued to push the envelope. His style of riding, I felt like, was so new at the time. And the truth is, when I met Mark Webb in 2005 and I saw him ride in England for the first time, I sat there and I felt like I saw a different version of myself. And over the years, I know that me and Mark Webb both pushed each other to ride our best and try to push the limits. And the most amazing thing about that is that was in 2005. Here we are on the verge of 2023 and Mark Webb is still a top-notch rider. And I am so happy that he came out with another Webby Show video because I get to sit back and enjoy his riding as a fan. So in this video, I decided to go back in time and revisit all the Webby Show videos. There was actually a Webby Show 1, 2, 3, 3.5, and 4. So technically there's 5 videos, but he has them labeled up to number 4. But instead of showing the whole video, what I decided to do was pick two original clips from each of the videos. And we're going to watch those clips together, and we're going to be talking about why we chose those clips, and show you exactly why we think that Mark Webb is one of the most talented BMX riders to ever do it. So we're going to go back to 2012, when Mark Webb came out with his first The Webby Show, and that completely broke the internet. So we're going to send it over to Maddie, and he's going to start with his two clips. Here's the two clips that I chose from the original Webby show, starting with this one right here. This one is insane to me. He goes up and does foof to ice pick, hop over 180, ice pick to fakie. And the craziest part of this trick is to go from an ice pick, hop over 180 your blind side where you can't even see where you're going and land in another ice pick on the other side of the spine is beyond insane for me. I can't even fathom it. And that's why I chose this one as one of my favorite clips of the video. The second clip that I chose from this video is this huge switch downside tail whip to manual 180. And the fact that he does a switch downside tail whip over the height of the ramp to manual, this is a combination that I've never seen anyone do and I don't think anybody's gonna replicate this. He's just such an original rider and it's crazy to see what he comes up with. So now I get to tell you my favorite Webby Show clips and we're gonna start off with a very technical one. Now this right here is a flare to manual to 360 into a bank. Now what I love about this trick is the fact that he's able to rotate that flare on such a small quarter pipe but having the bike control to land in a perfect manual and be able to drag it out, get the right lean to pop the 360. And I can tell you from experience that takes so much skill to be able to do that because there is so much force coming down on that flare to land on that back wheel and stay balanced but this next trick that I picked also takes a lot of control and I can tell you from experience that this trick is no joke I used to do 360 whip to tail tap to tail up in but I have never done a switch downside tail up into a 360 tail tap to a switch downside tail up in the fact that he's able to keep that momentum while kicking the bike the other direction is unbelievable and he does the trick in such a fluid motion. I just love when he does the downside tail whip back into the transition. And this is classic Mark Webb. So let's move on to the next video. So here's the two clips that I chose for the Webby Show 2, starting with this one right here. This one is a 540 bar spin to tail tap to downside tail whip. And the craziest part about how Webby does this trick is he does the full 540 bar spin in the air before he lands on the back tire, where a lot of people might spin on the wheel to finish it. He goes straight to the point. And that downside tail up just comes around so flawless, almost like it was one solid trick the whole time. And the second trick, he does a double flare, but not just a normal double flare. It's almost like he does one flare and then a front flip. There wasn't really anybody doing this trick at the time, and he did it on this quarter to bank setup. And look at how much force comes down on that back wheel. Like that thing was ready to explode. It's just crazy to see Mark Webb go from being the tech guy to the double flare guy. So these are the two tricks that I chose from the Webby Show 2. And we're gonna start off with this flare to ice pick to 270. Now a flare to ice pick is a crazy trick. The fact that you can rotate that flare out of the quarter pipe and land on a peg which is like that long is just insane to me. His bike control is second to none. And his ability to hold that ice pick and to be able to pop that 270 in is just classic Mark Webb. And the next trick we're talking about is kind of in the same category. I love how Mark did this tail gap to manual across the skate park and then and he goes into a 360 tail tap to bar spin in. It's crazy to see how he was able to bring so much momentum in that tail up across the skate park, land into a manual, and be able to slow himself down and keep control to jump into that 360 tail tap to bar spin. And in the Webby Show 2, you'll see a lot of variety in his technical tricks, so I definitely recommend going to watch it. But let's move on to the next one. Here's the two clips that I chose from the Webby Show 3, which is one of the craziest videos I've ever seen. 
check out this downside ice pick 270 to tail tap ice pick 270. Again, I really like this combo because it was so fluent. Everything just made sense. The way that he twisted, the way that he landed, it looked like just one smooth trick the whole entire time. He's known for being a tech rider, but this is a different style of tech riding. That's what's so cool about it. And this second clip right here is almost like in the same family of tricks. He goes and does a 270 to downside Smith 270. What's so crazy about this trick right here is you have to purposely case your front wheel on the top deck just to make contact with the peg, but then continue your rotation to get the spin out. I've never seen anyone do this. Choosing only two clips from the Webby Show 3 was really hard, but I did my best. We're gonna start off with this crazy front flip to tail tap, landing on the deck, gapping straight into an ice pick to barge spin out. Now, a couple things I wanna show you in here is how he's able to control that front flip. Instead of getting that front forward motion, he cuts over to the side to land in a perfect tail tap, but he perfectly landed about six feet away from the coping and somehow managed to jump all the way from that tail tap into the ice pick and still get the bar spin in. The reason why I chose this clip is because this really shows you how much bike control Mark Webb really has. Not many people in this world, if any, would be able to pull that trick off the way he did. It's just so crazy to see. And we're moving on to the next trick. This is a one foot nose manual across the deck doing a horseshoe shape. But right before he's about to go in, he starts to spin and he puts the foot from the nose manual into the front wheel to do a 360 foot jam whiplash back into the quarter. This trick is unbelievable. I could never imagine imagine myself landing this trick in my prime. And the fact that he's able to do it so fluently and so clean is completely mind-blowing to me. I highly recommend you go watch the Webby Show 3 at least four times after this because it's gonna take that long to figure out all the tricks that he did. On to Webby Show 3.5 and here's the two clips that I chose for this one, starting with this right here. A 540 bar spin to manual 180 off a ledge to half cab tail whip. What I really liked about this is he's incorporating a big quarter trick, but then making it so technical by landing in a manual to a 180 off a ledge, and then just for some brownie points, kicking a half cab tail whip out. And this is classic Mark Webb, but this next trick is something I didn't expect. He does a bar spin to a pedal one footed nose manual, like, a pedal one-footed nose manual, let alone, is already beyond difficult. He threw a bar spin into that across the quarter pipe. So that just shows you how well-rounded of a rider this dude is. So I don't know why Mark Webb did the Webby Show 3.5 instead of 4, but I'm glad that he did it. And these are the two tricks that I chose from it. And we're going to start off with Mark doing the over crank arm grind on the spine and popping back over. I know it's not as crazy and technical as the rest of the tricks that I've shown you in this video. And that's the reason why I chose it, because it shows just how talented Mark is as a rider. He did such a nice crank arm grind, sliding perfectly across the spine in complete control. And even in modern day BMX, you'd see nobody trying this trick. And I just think it's so cool that he incorporated this into his video. And I'm really grateful that he did. But we're gonna completely flip the script and go back over to the tech with the next trick. This is a backflip to tail tap to fakie. But pedaling backwards across the whole entire ramp, he went into a fakie front flip. See, I was capable of doing fakie front flips, but I could never do it with a cassette. And the fact that Mark was able to go all the way across that, time it, and just pop and get that front flip around is just so crazy to me. So now it's time to move on to the Webby Show 4, his latest video. And this time around, we're only going to be picking one trick to show you because I want it to be a big surprise when you get to watch the video after this. So let's send that over to Maddie and we'll see what he chose. Now on to the one clip that I chose from Webby Show 4. Classic Mark Webb right here. He does a 900 tail tap, no hops, to ice pick to hard 270 out. It doesn't get smoother than what he just did. Everything about it was perfect. I loved how clean he did the 900 in the beginning. This dude goes straight to an ice hard 270 out. Like skill levels out of 10, styles out of 10, everything was just perfect about this clip. So the trick that I chose from Webby Show 4 is such a cool trick. I love that Mark decided to put this trick in the video because when I saw it for the first time, it completely blew my mind. The fact that he goes over the spine, jumps into an over toothpick, and somehow kicks a downside tail with enough time is just insane to me. I don't know how Mark figured out the timing of this one because like he has to start doing the tail while he's in the toothpick and while his momentum's still going over the top of it and somehow fits that downside tail up around between that coping and the rest of the transition. And I keep on saying the term down whip, but I have to add in that's a switch down whip, so it's the opposite direction of his normal, and that just makes it that much crazier. So hats off to you once again, Mark, for pushing the envelope.
It's just so amazing to see that Mark Webb is still riding at such an elite level after all this time. And the fact that he was able to come out with that video and show everybody that he is still progressing BMX is just the coolest thing in the world. And I just want to send a personal message to Mark Webb thanking him for pushing BMX and pushing myself in BMX over the years. And I'm just so happy to see that he's still doing it. And I highly recommend that you all go watch the new Webby Show 4 video. And I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to put it in the description of this video below. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Video, and I'll be here waiting for Webby Show 5 to come out hopefully sooner than later. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.